If you're over 40, it's time to prioritize exercises that build muscle, give you strength, and help you live a long and strong life. You wanna be moving better every day. So in this video, I have 10 essential muscle building exercises that give you functional strength like nothing else. My goal is to help you stay strong, functional, and injury free. And if you want to become strong, fit, and lean without going to the gym twice as fast, then download my free ebook in the first link in the description. As we age, strength becomes insanely critical. If we don't do nothing for our strength and muscle, we will lose it the faster we can say kettlebell. As we age, the body is gearing down and so-called degenerative changes are happening. Now, we will die one day, but we can make this ride as smooth as possible. So if you want to be strong after 40, 50 or 60 and look like the guy who can actually do some work, these are the exercises that you have to do. This powerful exercise works your grip strength, your abdominals, your glutes, and your obliques. But one of the most crucial aspects of a swing is the opening up and mobilizing the hip area, especially the posterior chain. You see, many of us are tight in that area. We have a weak lower back and glutes and tight hamstrings, and this combination can wreak havoc as we age. Use your legs and hips to drive the kettlebell upward not forward. Keep the arm connected to your body as long as possible. Focus on stomping grapes as the kettlebell leaves the backswing in order to use the strongest muscles that you have in your body. The clean is the big brother from the swing and it transitions the kettlebell from the backswing into the rack position where the elbow connects with your hip. It works your entire posterior chain as well like the swing with the one difference that now the upper body also has to do some work. It also includes a rack position where you wanna place the kettlebell on your frame. Racking the kettlebell on your frame improves bone density, strength, and integrity. Similar to the swing, we have to stomp grapes as the kettlebell leaves the backswing. When the kettlebell transitions from the backswing into the rack position, we have to switch the grip. So I want to focus on inserting my full hand and wrist inside the window of the kettlebell. And again, I want to focus on ABC, arm body contact, making sure that the arm stays connected to the body as long as possible. The press is a staple exercise in kettlebell training. It strengthens your upper body, the shoulder, the rotator cuff muscles, and it's one of the best exercises that you can do, period. It's also a great move for your core since it engages your abdominals to keep balance. Keep the wrist vertically aligned to your elbow, pressing it close to your body. From this position, you press up in a straight line. When pressing a kettlebell overhead, you always wanna focus on pressing the handles up and let the bell follow. now follows one of my favorite exercises that I would do if I was forced at gunpoint to choose one exercise for the rest of my life. The clean and press is a functional powerhouse that combines two of the most powerful exercises that you can do. It's fantastic for building strength, coordination, and even cardio. First of all, mastering the clean involves understanding how to do a proper hand insertion. Once the kettlebell is in the rack position, I have to aim for the perfect shot, making sure I press the handles up first while the bell follows. As I drop the kettlebell back down into the rack, I want to have a smooth transition from the rack or the hip down into the backswing. Half snatch is an explosive movement that catapults the kettlebell overhead. It's the big brother of the clean. So now you have realized that we have the holy trinity, as I call it. The swing being one of the best exercises that you can do with the kettlebell, the clean being the big brother of the swing, and the snatch being the big brother of the clean. It trains your legs, your shoulders, your hips, your abs, everything. It's a full body powerhouse that even research suggests trains every big muscle group in your body. Use the same mechanisms from the swing as well as the clean. 
you gotta stomp grapes after the kettlebell leaves the backswing. As soon as the kettlebell passes your knees, release your thumb from the grip and now insert your hand inside the window of the kettlebell as fast as possible while letting it travel overhead into the top fixation. Lock out your arm overhead with confidence and as you drop the kettlebell back down, you drop it back into the rack and then immediately down into the backswing. And just in case if you're wondering what kind of kettlebell I'm using, it's the Pro kettlebell by my friend Nikolai Puchlov, proudly made in the USA. There's five things that I love about the Pro kettlebell. Number one, the contoured arm pockets that fit well on the clean, as well as with the snatch. This means beginners will feel right at home and professionals can get rid of their calluses on their forearms. The second thing I love is the high quality texture finish on the handle, which doesn't turn your hands into hamburger meat when you do lots of swings and ballistics in general. And this also means that you don't have to use a lot of chalk. Number three is the ergonomics. The Pro Kettlebell is a little bit smaller than the standard competition kettlebells, which means the weight sits closer to your center of mass. You feel it in the rack position and you get that immediate super flow feeling when you engage into the ballistics. Number four is the wide hollow core base, which makes it a safe option if you do kettlebell exercises on the floor, such as a handle push-up. Number five is the second grip because of the wide hollow core base, which lets you do curls and presses and exercises that you can do with other kettlebells. There are even more benefits, such as a safe option of a magnetic weight chip that you can add inside the hollow core base of your kettlebell and make it heavier. Check the link in the description to get your pro kettlebell right now. And don't forget to use our code LEWISTARK to get 10% off your next purchase. The snatch is the big cousin of the half snatch. You see these exercises are all related. The snatch uses the same principles like the half snatch, with the only difference that the kettlebell does not drop back into the rack position once I finish overhead, but I completely drop the kettlebell down into the backswing. This requires a little bit more technical prowess. However, once you understand the basics of the clean, you mimic the same movement patterns in the snatch. The farmer's walk is one of the simplest but most effective exercises that you can do. It doesn't require no skill at all and has a lot of bang for your buck and can grant you immediate results after only a couple of workouts. Also, it's one of the most functional ways to train. Oftentimes, you have to pick up stuff from the ground and carry it. Well, that's exactly what we do with a heavy kettlebell. Go and grab a hold of some heavy kettlebells that truly challenge you. When it comes to the weight, it's all a relative perspective, which means maybe double 20 kg is heavy for you while somebody else has to grab double 64s. It doesn't really matter. The idea is grab heavy stuff and then start walking around. The thruster is a beast in and all by itself. It's essentially a squat and a press. This makes it a full body move that challenges your legs, your abdominals, your core, your shoulders, your arms, everything all at once. The key tips are fairly simple. You grab the kettlebell with only one hand or with both hands and now perform a deep squat. After performing the deep squat, you explode upward in an overhead press. You must use your legs to drive the press, making it one fluid motion. squat strengthens your legs and your core because it forces you to engage one side of your body while engaging both of your legs. This is a powerful unilateral exercise that builds a certain quality of the human body that not many of us train if we always use both hands or we always work with even weights. You hold the kettlebell in the rack position, keeping the elbows close to your body. As you descend into the squat, you push your chest and your knees out and push the hips back and sit down as deep as you can. Keep that kettlebell close to your body, avoid any rotation in the elbow and stand up up strong. Last but not least, the rack lunge. This exercise challenges 
your balance and builds strength from a unilateral perspective while focusing only on one leg. It's perfect for improving your stability, mobility and strength altogether. We perform the rack lunge similar like the rack squat, keeping the kettlebell close to the body. The only difference is now that I take a big step backwards. Now I want to push my pelvis towards the floor and I want to build up a solid stretch that builds up from the hips down to my knees. As soon as I feel that stretch, I explode back up into a standing position. So there you have it, 10 essential, powerful and muscle building exercises for men over 40. These moves will build stability, mobility, improve your daily movement and functional strength and build some high quality muscle. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean and press that like and subscribe button, share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells and if you made it this far, download my free ebook in the first link in the description called The Kettlebell Code. If you're over 40, 50 or 60, you don't have a lot of time but you still want to take care of your fitness, this is where the kettlebell comes in. And I want to show you how to get started with one of the best tools available for men over 40. So go download that ebook right now. It's 100% free in the first link in the description.